Hey guys, welcome back to my next art book preview video. This week we have the art of Francisco Herrera, and this is actually four separate sketchbooks. I'm going to quickly flick through on camera. So we are starting with Tome 1. Um, you can see that my copies are, I don't know how well it shows on camera, but quite beat up. Um, there's not much to show on the back of these, and I'm going to try and speed through them quite quickly, just because four sketchbooks is quite a lot, even though they're not particularly big. I think they're probably about 40 pages each. And apologies, I can see that the lighting is not ideal. Uh, it's always really tricky to preview books that have got glossy pages. Let me see if I can stick something underneath this. Okay, so hopefully that will be a little bit better. So things to talk about with this one, as you could tell from the condition of my cover on this, mine is not brand new. I bought these secondhand on eBay. Luckily I got a good deal to get all four of them together. They are quite difficult to get hold of or at least here in the UK they are. Um, I did actually manage to get book one a little while back, but then I've just repurchased it with this bundle, and then I just sold my copy on. So I won't claim to know tons about this artist. I came across this book pretty much randomly online, and I decided that I would have a quick look through it, the like online preview. I liked the art style. It's not my usual thing, which I'm gonna talk about in a second, but I decided to take a gamble and basically buy book one when it came up on eBay. Since then, I've been on the lookout for a while. It's been on my watch list to buy all four of them because I actually really like this book. My biggest issue with it is that there aren't tons of pages, but that's more of a compliment, if anything, because I would like to see more content. And the book seems to consist of quite a lot of different content. So everything from sketches, a lot of fan art, Marvel stuff. You might have seen some World of Warcraft stuff, which I think is pretty cool some original characters, some is fully coloured, and some is just pencils. So a good example of some fully coloured stuff here. Again, I am sorry about the glossy page lighting, it is very tricky on camera. So I would say that he has quite a cartoony style, somewhere between like a comic book style and cartoon. As you can tell from the book, he must do some comic books because there's these sort of panels. I think he's considered more of a character designer. I love these pages, there's a lot going on, it's quite a lot to sort of take in, but I do think it's really cool. I think this is almost like the ideal artist sketchbook in my opinion. And then we will move straight on to book two. Quick look at the cover. I don't think there's much point showing the backs to them, as you can see they all just show a different colour. And from the covers it kind of looks to me like it's going to be very similar content. Um, I don't mean repeated content, but obviously it's a sketchbook, sketchbook volume two. Same kind of layout from the looks of things. But I will say as someone that I only just sort of like looked through these last night. So they're still fairly new to me. I haven't taken it all in or, you know, looked at it in depth by any means. But I will say that whilst there are some good sketches in all of them or some good artwork in all of them, I do think that to me, sketchbook one that I just previewed was by far the best one. I think it had the biggest range of content in terms of some of it was quite rendered and coloured. I, I can't remember exactly which one is which, but I do think that some of them have more painterly styles in as we go along, which is pretty cool, but honestly, I really like this guy's line art and his pencils, so I'm not really too interested in seeing his painterly stuff. A quick warning, I think most of it's pretty uh, safe for YouTube and quite cartoony, but there is some sort of pin up stuff and some very mild nudity in case you are offended by anything like that. And as you can see, we've also got these sort of characters that I assume they're toys that he's had made of his designs. So it's pretty cool, but honestly for me, I'm not really that interested in seeing that in a sketchbook. I would personally rather just those pages have been used for more things like this, because I think his style is really quite unique. I think he's really good at stylizing characters, exaggerating things. That's my sort of biggest weakness. Um, as an artist, this is kind of where I want to go. I want to go more from realism and start being able to implement these sort of exaggerated expressions and designs, again, slightly more painterly in this one. So I kind of thought this one wasn't as good as the first one, at a glance at least, but still pretty cool. Okay, so on to sketchbook three, quick look at the cover. This is obviously a blue one this time. And I must admit that I like these sort of cartoony pinups. I find those quite cool. Um, but I think, again, there was more of those in Sketchbook 1. There are some throughout, as you will see, but 
from a glance. Again, I, I think I remember sort of thinking that there was more in Sketchbook 1. And it looks like there's quite a lot of Marvel stuff in this one, at least in those first few pages. So a little bit about the artist. Um, Francisco Herrera, I believe, has worked for many companies. From interviews I've seen, you know, DC, Marvel, as you can tell, um, DreamWorks, Warner Brothers. And I think we already mentioned that he's obviously done some toy designs, which, again, I think we'll see in some of these books. And those interviews that I've seen with him are quite old now. So I wouldn't be surprised if he's worked on a lot more or worked with a lot more companies since then. So you guys might actually have to fill me in with information uh, if you guys know much about this artist. Because as I say, I sort of found him randomly through one of his books. I now follow him on Instagram, but it's still quite new to me and I haven't seen loads of his stuff since. As already mentioned, when I was looking for these books, they're quite difficult to get hold of here in the UK. Or you could get hold of them, but they were quite an expensive price. But I will put links in the description box below if any of these do come up, because occasionally I've seen them on places like Amazon as well. But when I was searching, it actually came up with his Kickstarter as well, but a much more recent Kickstarter than this one. Quick look at the cover for book four there, and then I'll carry on talking about his Kickstarter. So through Google, I found some of his links to his Kickstarter, and it looked like a different book completely. So this one I think is referred to as Sketchbook or Sketchbox. And there was a Kickstarter called Retrobox. By the way, really cool. I remember thinking, aside from book one, book four was my favourite because of this Star Wars art here. I really like that. But I guess that's my personal preference. Anyway, sorry. The Kickstarter has a different book. I haven't seen much of it other than what's available on the preview of the Kickstarter. So I had a quick look online to see if I could find those books and the only place I can find it is the, I think it's called Stuart NG website, something like that. It's a well-known American one. So again, it's quite expensive if you're not in the US, I guess, because because of the international shipping. But yeah, for those of you that are sort of interested in this kind of style or interested in Francisco's work, I will put links to everything where you can get them and I will put links to his social media in the description box below. But I never used to like this sort of cartoony style. His is especially sort of reminiscent of like Looney Tunes to me, which I've never been that big on, especially wanting to draw it. But I've started getting quite bored of realistic drawings and um, studies like that. It's a good way to learn, but I actually find things like this much more exciting to look at and also more exciting to draw, a little bit less boring. So I never thought I would become more cartoony with my art but I'm starting to at least really appreciate other artists work that are more in the sort of cartoony direction. Anyway guys I'm gonna leave it at that hopefully you enjoyed this video or found it useful if you were looking at buying these books. If you did enjoy the video make sure that you subscribe to the channel it really helps me out a lot. Of course hit that thumbs up button and switch notifications on for future content. Aside from that leave me a comment below and let me know what other art books you guys want to see next. Thanks so much for watching everyone.